911, what is your emergency? Just what to do when his mom suddenly became unconscious. We go right to Carrie Gavin with the 911 call that'll give you goosebumps. Eric and Stacy, it's a parent's job to protect their children, but in this case, it was the other way around. 115 Thursday afternoon, Polk County Dispatcher Maggie Broder gets a call. Polk County Sheriff's Office. Um, my mommy doesn't feel good. The call was from a cell phone, so dispatchers didn't have an immediate address. Where is your mommy? Uh, he's at, uh, he's at, uh, Iowa. Where? You know where Iowa is? Yes, I know where Iowa is. But the boy didn't know what town he was in. Mommy? Who else is there with you besides? He's passed out right now. The call, not nearly as surprising as what unfolded before him and his age. He's not feeling good. He's going to drink some juice, but, uh, how, how old are you? Passed out. How old are you? Four. Four? Four? Yeah. As dispatchers tried to ping the cell phone to determine the location, Broder continued to ask questions. What color house do you have? Uh, it's white. What color door does your house have? I'll go check if, it, if, if it's brown, okay? I'll be right back. No, no don't hang up. Don't hang up. I'll, I'll, I'll come up there and see if it's brown, okay? Okay, you go, but you could take the phone with you. For 15 minutes, he stayed on the phone, at times showing his tender age. Do you hear the siren? A bad guy's coming. No, no, the, the good guys are coming. They're going to come and help your mommy. Oh. With no exact location, the boy saw the emergency crews, but they didn't see him. They're right there by somebody's house. Okay, you go and yell at them. Go outside and say, hey, I'm over here. And he listened, continuing to handle the scary situation with courage and okay. grace. I'm over here. I'm over here. Our mommy's in trouble. Our mommy's Okay, did you call the, call the 911? Yeah, let me talk to him. I'm, okay, let me talk I'm to four. Him. Today we also talked with the Polk County dispatcher who took the call. She says she's taken thousands of calls in her 17 years of service, but never one like this. Yeah, I need some help. What's the matter? It's what? my mouth. Was your mouth? No, it's my mouth. I'm on the phone. No, I can't do that. I can send someone else to help you. Okay. What else do you have that you need help with? I have, I have takeaways. Oh, you got to do the takeaways? Yeah. All right, what's the problem? You have to help me with my math. Okay. Tell me what the math is. Okay. 16. Yeah. Take away 8. Uh-huh. This way. You tell me. How much do you think it is? I don't know. One? <laughs> yeah. What's another problem? That was a tough one. Five, take away five. Five, take away five. And how much do you think that is? Five. Johnny, what are you doing? I can't hear you. You need to speak. Happy February, happy. Stay calm, Dad. Nine one one. What is your emergency? What's your emergency? Uh, yeah, I'd like to order a large pizza with a side of uh, fries and. Excuse me. We don't. No, no. Do you have a medical emergency? Is there some? Medical emergency I can help you with. Yeah, my stomach seems to be growling. I think that's medical. It's it's like I'm really hungry. If your stomach, excuse me, if your stomach's hungry, go ask your mother for something to eat. I need my food to come in before eleven o'clock. Well, you need to go get a nap if you're tired. Go ask mommy for some food and then take mm. it. Can I have your address, please? One, two, three. No house lane.